Hey everyone, welcome to our video. Today we're going to be making an uh, app in Opal, which is this new Google product that's going to be used to build these little mini apps that can be really useful and they can help you. It's very new, so we're just going to be going over some basics on how to use it. So we're going to click Create New. And then here, this is a very easy screen. I know there's a lot of little things on it, but let's just pay attention to this box at the bottom. So basically, you're going to say what you want to build. So today we're going to be saying we're going to build an email helper. So you're going to say what you want to put in, so what the user is going to provide. So the user will provide a person they're talking to, so the recipient. Then it'll take the subject of the email. And then there'll be a part for any context you want to add. Then you're going to say what you want the output to look like. So for this, we're going to say the output should be a formatted response that will take into account the recipient, the subject, and the context information to form a professionally written email. And now you can just click go. It may take a second depending on how complex your uh, app is going to be. Okay, so here it is. Um, on the left, you'll see recipient. This is going to be one of your inputs, as you see in this little greenish yellow color. Subject and context information. These all feed into this little generate blue tab, which if you click on it, there already will be a prompt in here. And then up at the top, you'll be able to select a model. It already chooses the correct model for you, so you don't usually need to change that. But if you were to build this on your own without just putting it in the description box at the bottom, then you would need to select an LLM here. Okay, so in here, there's just the prompt. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see it takes in each of these quote unquote variables, which are our inputs. And then it brings it all into an output step in this green color. And it just puts it the variable into here, and then this will create the output. There's also a little layout thing at the top, which has different ways to output it. So now we're going to head over to the app selection at the top. And make sure to give your app a title. So we're just going to call this Professional Email Writer. And now you can click Start. So who is our recipient? Let's say John. And we can specify that he is our boss. Subject, maybe we can say, uh, I'll be 20 minutes late to work today. And then we're going to click enter and we're going to move to this context. We can say, my car wouldn't start this morning. And now it'll keep loading and it'll provide you this output. So, hi John, I'm ready to inform you that I will be approximately 20 minutes late for work today. My car wouldn't start this morning, which caused an unexpected delay. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. I'll arrive as quickly as possible. Best regards. And something you could even look to add is maybe put an input for what your name is so you can have this just automatically do best regards and then your name. You can always suggest an edit here but for now this is pretty good. Yeah and then depending on how complex the information you put in is so if we had a more complex case than just that I was going to be late and that uh, my car wasn't working then it could provide a longer email and a more in-depth email. Alright and that's the basics. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.